In an emergency, every second counts. It's something people on the far southeast side of Madison know all too well. That's because they deal with some of the longest fire and EMS response times in the city, and now they'll have to wait even longer for that to change. News Street's Chris Gothner is here to tell us why. Chris? Hi, Eric and Charlotte. Well, Madison's fire chief tells me today under Mayor Soglin's latest capital budget, plans for a new southeast side fire station have been pushed back from 2018 to 2020. At the time, I thought he was probably having a stroke. When John Kuzabucky's 91-year-old dad needed help after he fainted early last year, John called 911, hoping help would arrive right away. But instead, precious minutes tick by. It was at least 15 or 20 minutes before the ambulance got here. That's because he lives in the far southeast corner of Madison. And the nearest Madison fire station, Station 5, is more than five miles up Highway 51 on Cottage Grove Road. Kuzabucky says it turns out his dad didn't have a stroke and he survived, but it's still worrisome. Here in the city, you expect the city to you know, respond to the areas that are in the city in appropriate manner. Madison Fire Chief Steve Davis says without a station on the far southeast side, response times like that will continue to be the norm. Davis says the city's average response time to this part of town is around nine and a half minutes, compared to a citywide average of six and a half minutes and an ideal of five. And he says as the area continues to grow, so will the amount of calls. It's on a trajectory of about a 12% increase annually. Meaning even more strain for Station 5. We're really at our pressure point right now. Southeast side neighborhood leaders are saying the new station's two-year pushback has everyone concerned. This is a startup neighborhood with a lot of children and a lot of families with young ones, and they need to be protected. And it's people like John Kuzabucky who say the need for a new station is something that hits personally. When you're sitting there and it's 15, 20 minutes, it seems like forever. Now, John's dad passed away in December. I reached out for Mayor Soglin's office for comment on this issue and haven't received a response. Chris Gothner joining us in the studio tonight. Thank you, Chris.